everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Linux Guide. Today I'm going to show you how to make a bootable flash drive, specifically using PopOS and a program that I think is just fantastically named Popsicle. Now the process for this is going to be the same if you use different programs like Bellina Etcher or if you're on Windows you might be familiar with Rufus. The process is more or less the same. Now I like Popsicle because it's so easy, but Bellina Etcher is real similar in how it functions. I don't like that it has advertisements on it, but that's available for Windows and Mac. Rufus is available for Windows, and the functionality is more or less the same, so you can extrapolate what I'm doing here if you want to use those programs, but I'm going to show you how to use Popsicle. So today I've got my downloads. I have Ubuntu Server 20.04. I'm going to make a bootable disk for this on this empty 4 gigabyte flash drive that I have over here. So let's open Popsicle. You will need to be administrator on the computer in order to be able to do this. And basically, I choose my image. There it is in my downloads. Open it. I can check the hash if I want. I've already done that for this, so I'm not going to do it. But if you have a hash file, you can actually check it right there, which is really convenient. The next thing I need to do is I need to select my drive. Now, most systems are going to be pretty good about selecting the right one and I can tell you right now that this is the right one but I'm going to show you two methods real quick to check just in case you're not sure so the first one is in the command line and it is using a Linux command called fdisk and it's sudo fdisk-l which will list all of my disks and I know that this is a 4 gigabyte flash drive and it's the only one plugged in so here it is, 3.7 gigs is what it sees it as so that's the writable space and here we go slash dev slash sdf1 now you see this just says sdf the one is the partition the sdf is the actual disk so this is only going to show sdf because it's going to erase the whole disk if there were more than one partition you would see more than one here so on my actual operating system here is the sde there's one two and three those are the three partitions on it but there's only one partition on here so that's how it shows up here now there i think is an even easier way and that's using a program called gparted you might not have gparted installed, so I wanted to show you the way that it'll work everywhere. Fdisk will work everywhere, but if you have gparted installed, you can just click this little drop down in gparted and you can see the size and the name, so SDF is right there. So that's my disk, that's the one I want to use. So let's go ahead and move forward, click next, and it will write. Alright, now you can see Popsicle has finished, and it says flash and complete one device successfully flashed. If we go back into our files, we still have our ISO, but there is Ubuntu server and we can eject this and then we've got our bootable flash drive. So that's how you use Popsicle to create a bootable flash drive, but this, like I said, the process is pretty much the same with Rufus or with Belina Etcher. Popsicle is a Linux only program, so this is really for you Linux users, but I, it's just the easiest one. I've not used one that's easier than Popsicle yet, so I wanted to share it with everybody. As always, make sure to find us on Library, send us a tip if you feel so inclined, people on YouTube, you're getting your video a day late, make sure to follow us over on library. And we will see you in the next one, guys.